Hey guys, we're JM June 19th, so the live is going to have to wait till Friday. Because <laughs> I'm not getting bed now until Friday, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just leaving the SPC and now it's 1.20. And I got there probably around 12.30ish. So, um, unfortunately, because like I said, he has unitary issues. Um, he basically peed last night and... Uh, so they've been testing it, and so they're holding him till Friday just in case, because he was peeing everywhere kind of thing. And so they just want to double check that everything's going to be fine. Unfortunately, I can't pay for him right now, so technically he isn't mine yet. But like I said, most likely he's going to be mine on Friday. <sighs> it's just funny because I actually asked if I could get him on Friday. And then they said no coming on Wednesday. <laughs> so that's okay because, uh, like I said, I just set up the cat room before we left. And I have the family that I gotta go um, pick up, family's kids. So I'm probably gonna just grab a coffee from Blends here and then maybe a bake or something. Or avocado toast, and then depending what they have here, because I haven't ate yet, <laughs> and then go straight to get smokes and pay that off, and then go pick up the family's kids. I should have enough time because it's only 1 30, because it's close to my house. I don't really have to go to Tyson today because, like I said, I'm not getting him till Friday, and if something comes up where they say that you can't adopt him now, then that's gonna be heartbreaking but I hope like they said they told me I could still come get him on Friday most likely so <clears throat> but I did got lots more videos with him and photos and some really good ones at first he didn't come out but then later he did because I was playing with my keychain so I got some photos and videos with him and he's so playful he like me pet him again once but that was about it so kind of disappointing <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't call to tell me about that but in a way it's kind of good that they didn't call because at least that this way I got to spend more time with bud and get some more photos and videos and be like yeah I, I don't I don't care I still want him <laughs> even if he uh, because the same volunteer that helped me last time he said he's most likely going to have unitary issues for the rest of his life. I'm like, same with Hope. Hope had unitary problems since she was like, I think five? Four, four or five. So I had her on a special diet. Um, I got her special treats and stuff like that. So there's no real difference. The only difference is that there's food and then, like I said, <clears throat> might spray a little bit, but that's why I gotta get um, cleaning the spray stuff. But now I don't have to do that till Thursday, so that's good. So, a little disappointing. But I was gonna do a live tomorrow night, but now I'm like, well, now I don't get bed till Friday, so might as well just wait till Friday. And hopefully, the good thing about that is I might be able to get somebody to help me because it's Friday. Uh, just to pick him up, but he he doesn't look heavy, so I think I should be fine on my own with him Like I asked Chris if he's free, but if they're not free on Friday, that's fine. I'll just uh, Cab it, but I gotta be careful with my money <laughs> so I have enough but Yeah, kind of kind of disappointing but also not disappointing because now I can vacuum my living room today and tomorrow, tonight and tomorrow. I could vacuum the bed and I don't have to worry about him being around. I could finally cook because <laughs> I've just been eating leftovers because I've been so busy preparing for bed. So now the cat room at least is done. And uh, yeah, it's just. It's kind of tough though, like when you spend time with the cat and you're just like, all you want to do is bring him home. 
and sometimes you can't but it's probably for the best because if something happens I don't have the finances or somebody to help me to like go bring him to a vet or like if the worst comes to worst something happens so that's the main reason why they're keeping him like it's not anything to say he's doing so bad that we can't um, have him and actually he was going to go into a foster home this week <laughs> but since I'm taking him it's fine they're not they're not giving him to the foster anymore so that's good but I'm just like probably spent an hour almost with him hour a half hour with him so yeah a little disappointing but like I said in the end it's kind of better because like I said I don't have my place prepared for him yet so just know um, even if you're told that you, you could adopt a pet sometimes things like this happen so then just be aware that it might be longer than you expect like they even said I might not be able to get him on Friday if something is really bad with his unitary and he has to get stuff done but then after all that then I could go back and get him but I could always go visit him so I'm trying to make a point that if I don't get him on Friday I'm going to come here at least once a week just to visit him for like at least an hour because poor bud all by himself <laughs> I feel bad for leaving him but I can't smoke there so And I can't take him home. <laughs> so it's like, oh. But he's still my boy. I'm still going to say that he's our YouTube cat until they tell me that I can't take him because, like I said, they already told me yesterday that I could adopt him. So, and nobody else, I asked him too if anybody else was interested in him, and they said no because of the issues that he has. <laughs> so, uh, my poor boy. But I actually got some photos of him when he's actually out, and you can see his full body. So he he doesn't look heavy at all. Uh, he looks pretty light, actually. So that's a good thing. And like I said, he did come up to me a few times, and he'd run off, and then he'd go to the door, and then he'd run off and use a litter box. Once so I was just showing myself <laughs> when he was doing that. So he is using the litter box. So that's good. Um, so, like I said, I don't think there's going to be a problem with Friday. It just means now i got to definitely start vacuuming this week. So, yeah. Um, but first I'm going to... So, in a way, I kind of feel good because I was like, oh, i got to rush home and i got to make sure Bud's settled and then i got to go out. But now, Friday, I'll be home all day and I have no plans Friday, so. In a way, it's kind of better because, like I said, today and Wednesdays and th Thursdays, I'm usually busy with family. But I'm doing today, too, but that's also because they help out with my phone and other things, so. And it helps me to get out of the house when I spend time with the family of kids, so I don't feel too bad uh, when I leave now. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, oh my god, he still warms up my heart. The new videos you guys are going to love, I'm going to try to upload them when I'm at Flynn's. If I don't have enough time to go downtown, then I won't go downtown until the evening. But um, we'll see. I'm probably because it's like 1 30 now so by the time I get my coffee and upload videos because they have Wi-Fi here it'll probably be day two so yeah I don't know for sure if I'll I might not go downtown until the evening I kind of wish I could but I could go later tonight actually yeah I think I'm just gonna go to uh I won't go to, to downtown till the evening because I already told them ahead of time. 
So that way I have an hour to kill. Like I could have my coffee, upload these videos, spend some time outside, <clears throat> and then just catch the VCC to, instead of going up. Because the buses took, the reason why it took so long yesterday, the buses were a freaking nightmare to get home. So it's like, I'll just go to the SkyTrain, and then I'll go to Broadway and Commercial, and then catch the SkyTrain there to Main Street, <laughs> and then go to where I'm supposed to pick up Pamela's kids, which is close to home. So I should have enough time. So yeah, I won't go downtown. I'm just going to hang out here. I don't want to risk it. So... Because, like I said, I can't really afford cabs right now because i got to save that for Bud. So, yeah. I'll just hang out at Blends for a bit. And, uh... Then start heading to go pick up family's kids. Because that's going to take probably at least a half hour. Wow. <laughs> my poor boy, though. I'm, like, so in love with him. And I told my family about what happened and Chris and Liz, so I said, it, no matter what, I'm still going to take Bud. If they allow me. That's the only thing. If they say that, that he can't be up for adoption for whatever reason now, then that's different. Then I'll just wait until he's ready to be adopted. Because I want Bud. I don't want any other cat. Just bud. Even if I have to wait. <laughs> so, like I said, hopefully I'll, I'll be able to bring him home Friday. But if not, it's all good. Actually, I forgot, I'm not that far from home, like, by bus. If it goes on time, so after blends, I'm just going to go up and catch the bus. And then to go to East Broadway, and then catch the main bus to go towards the, um, where I'm picking up booth. So I'll have enough time. And if worse comes to worse, I could just cab it. But most likely it should be fine. Like I said, it's not even 2 o'clock yet, so I got lots of time. But I really need a few smokes because I've been in there for a little while. But, oh, my bud. My bud. So, a little disappointed, but in the end, it kind of works out because I don't have to rush all the way home, get him settled, worry about him, and then I'll have time to vacuum. So... Yeah, but like I said, there's nothing serious wrong with him. They, like I said, he just has unitary issues, so they're just testing. Basically, they're testing his pee to see that everything's fine. Which is what it comes down to. <laughs> so it should be fine. Like I said, Hope had to... Hope went through that. I had to get her stuff tested. And, yeah. So, I'm fine with that. <sighs> I just wish I could take him home right now, but I know it's for the best, so Friday, 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 Friday. But I really need a coffee. Um, I don't think they have that because it's here. I gotta, maybe I'll just get a bagel because I gotta take something that I could take with me. And I have a kind of toast kind of, um... I seen that, but there's Blends coffee. I'm just gonna go in there. I fixed my camera now so I don't end up taking short videos instead of photos. <laughs> so, <sighs> but a little disappointed, but in the end, it's better to wait till Friday. So, like I said, I, 
they already told me he's my cat, so I don't have to worry. The only thing though is that it might just be a little longer, but he's my cat either way. <laughs> either way, he's my cat. So keep but in your prayers that he's ready to go home on Friday and that everything's fine. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated throughout my day. But I really need a coffee. I kind of wish they told me though, because then I didn't have to do all that work this morning. <laughs> But I guess it's all set up now, so that's good to know. So no live until Friday, most likely around 10, and no bud till Friday. But we got to see him. And that gives him some extra time to open up to me as well. So. <sighs> he is very skittish though. <laughs> I like that about him. He's like uh, the great cat that I always see that I call crazy. He kind of doesn't stay in one spot. But sometimes he does. So that's my bed. So yeah, I'm going to go in for a coffee. And then I'll upload these videos. And uh, I'll talk to you guys when... I'm going to uh, pick up family's kids and spend time with them here on Packer Stories. No bed till Friday.